Last night, we told you the sad and bewildering story of Dr. Oz, a man with absolutely everything going for him, talent, decency, charm, money, name recognition, all the right endorsements, who is nevertheless losing by a big margin as a Republican in what should be a Republican wave election to a radical and incompetent Democratic lieutenant governor who's presided over the decline of the state, and who, by the way, also has had a stroke and can no longer speak in complete sentences. That's happening right now. Dr. Oz is getting crushed by a stroke victim who was already crazy. It's bizarre. The question is, why is this happening? We spent some time on the phone the other day calling around to various smart political people to find out why it's happening. We heard a lot of theories, almost all of which boiled down to Dr. Oz is a bad candidate. Mitch McConnell, who's in charge of electing more Republicans to the Senate, gave virtually the same explanation yesterday at a Kentucky Chamber of Commerce lunch. Quote, Candidate quality has a lot to do with outcome, he said. In other words, it's not my fault they sent me bad candidates. Okay. But before we accept that, before we accept that a Republican just can't win at a time when Democrats have completely discredited themselves, it's worth pausing and asking exactly what this means. What is a bad candidate? Well, there are no bad candidates. Just like there are no bad dogs. There's bad owners. There are no bad candidates, there are just candidates who are running on the wrong things. Candidates who are talking about issues that people don't deeply care about. A good candidate is the opposite of that. A good candidate is a candidate who promises to fix the problems that voters worry about most. Candidates like that tend to win elections because the message is bigger than the man. A candidate with a powerful message can overcome virtually any obstacle, from multiple bankruptcies to universal media hostility to a dull orange skin tone. If voters believe you will make their lives better, they will vote for you, period. It's not complicated. Unfortunately, donors and party leaders often do complicate it. They want candidates to talk about issues that they care about, which are often very different from the issues that the public cares about. Remember, Republicans used to yell at you about entrepreneurship? That's the most important thing. Entrepreneurship? Okay. Sounds kind of amusing now, but basically that is still happening. Consider Pennsylvania, the state where Dr. Oz is now losing. What do voters in Pennsylvania care about most? We haven't seen the most recent polls, but we would guess law and order is at the very top of that list. 